thing I do like is now there's the option for preset temp temporary basils. So, because I know that after I do my session on a Tuesday night, which is a high activity one, I have it. down for 50% for three hours after I've done it. So I know that I can slip in my high activity after that. And then I know when I do the level one functional fitness on a Thursday night, I don't need as much as a reduction. So down to 70, and it's only for a short period of time, for two hours. So I can put these into play without having to run them each time. It's pretty cool. And then my final one is I only go down to 80% for an hour and a half. on Saturdays. Perfect. So let's just see if they're easy enough to use. So once, if I just go straight into the basil menu, preset temporary basils there. If it was a Wednesday night, bang that on, begin. It tells you how long, or it tells you when it starts and when it's gonna finish, and at what speed that temporary knock it down to. Perfect, so it's gone from 0.6 to 0.3. Begin. Ah, that's different now. So you can see next to the basil, you've got a T. So it tells you the temporary basil is running. Before on the veil, we just had an open circle, and that could have been a dual wave, a square wave, a low battery. So now you know that the temporary basil is on. But obviously, this isn't a Wednesday, so let's see how easy it is to get rid of that. Cancel temp basil tells you how long it's remaining. Perfect. Cancel it off. T's gone. That's does it. T's gone. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Ah. Pretty useful. The final thing that I want to set up for me is potentially a preset bolus is add new snacks. So I often have an apple, which I know for me is 16 grams carbs, there or thereabouts. So and if I put that at one unit, because I have one unit for 16 grams, it's just a normal bolus for an apple. So you could set that up as a jewel if you wanted, could I? Yeah, just keep that as a normal though. Perfect, because I know that you can now give a bolus via the remote, so hopefully I should be able to do that in a little while. Easy enough there. Perfect. Okay, one of the new things is the alerts. So audio options, you can now have audio, audio and vibrate, or just vibrate, and you can change the volume. So for me, audio and vibrate, because sometimes I don't have it next to my body um, and sometimes I can't hear it. And if you can now turn the volume up to five. So let's see what difference that makes. Oh, that's quite a bit louder. Okay, that's a good bit louder than before. Oh, it's actually now that's a good bit louder than before. New thing that's definitely going to help me is even with the best will in the world, um, I do forget sometimes to uh, change every two to three days my reservoir and set. So now in the reminder section, there's actually a set change reminder, which is pretty good. You can turn that on and then you can make the choice whether you have it every two or three days. So I'm going to get it to remind me at two days so I know once it's go off, because I might be out and about, I know I need to change that day so it doesn't run over to the, the three days. So let's change that to two. Save. Perfect. Okay, so there's a new way to connect the meter. You can do it automatically. So, Ooh. press the button even. Menu, and then there's utilities. And there should be device options. Connect device, auto connect. So you can connect by putting the serial number in, but if it'll do it automatically. Before using it, make sure no other Medtronic devices nearby. 
Continue. See you, Skype. Okay, so we need to put this into search mode. So turn this on. English would always be good. Make sure I press that one right. English language, okay. Connect to mini red pump, okay. Select connect device, we've done that on there. Auto connect. Okay, so you've got to click search at the same time on both. So search on the meter, search on here. And this should, hopefully quicker than two minutes, find each other. I always use the control link meter for me because I know that all my blood glucose results are then stored in a pump. It means that I'd have to write them down or think about downloading another meter as well. So, personal preference. I'll obviously edit out some time on this. Have a connection. Confirm. Okay, meter successful. So that's the right serial number. So it now says it's synchronizing with the pump. Next, continue. I always want to send my results across so all my BGs are recorded, so all my hypos and highs are in there. We'll go for the day, month, year in the English form. 15th of the 10th, so 15th 10th, 8th of February 2015, spot on, auto log is off, keep that off, keep those, circuit's complete, perfect, so let's give this baby a go, see whether it sends it across. Oh, there we go. There's the real life. Well, I suppose 3.5 is uh, meant to be a hypo, but 3.8. Let's get a couple of uh, Dextrose tablets on the go. Okay, 3.8, treat low BG, do not bolus until BG is back normal. Okay, perfect. So we're done there. So it keeps that so you can see there for 12 minutes is pretty good. And what I'm actually going to do is just because we did it before set it up and I'm obviously not connected to the pump yet is to show how you can do a, a bolus from the pump. So I set up that preset bolus before. So you can put a bolus and do a manual bolus but it should have my snack from my apple. Preset bolus, so it goes to pick up the info. Yep, snack of one unit, so we'll give that a practice and see how it is. Snack bolus, yes. As you can see on the pump now it started, and it's sort of delivering that. It's vibrated to warn me about it that it's going to start to bolus. And it's starting. And the other new feature on here is if you want to stop the bolus, now you don't have to suspend it, you can just stop the bolus and then go across to confirm and it actually tells you how much has been delivered. So, it's pretty cool. 
just to prove that uh, I've had my glucose tablets and hopefully my blood glucose levels come back up. Hopefully. Five point one. Three glucose tablets, just enough. Perfect. Come through.